Well, excuse me while I beat my eggs. Well, you know what this means. Time to cook something. And today we're going to make something a little different. Well, there's a nice piece of chuck that I bought this morning at Sam's Club, and it's uh, going to dry age till tomorrow. I'll slow cook it. And there's some sockeye salmon, wild caught, that I've been saving just for this. And today, I'm going to make a real nutrition bomb. About once a week, I like to make sure that I get uh, a really good dose of omega-3s. And it's usually with fish. Now this is a, uh, a whole filet, and I'm going to eat about half of it this morning. So we'll cut it up, save the other half for another time. Now this is going to be a large meal. That's a, a healthy piece of fish right there. And I'm going to couple it with six eggs. So between six eggs and what is most likely about three quarters of a pound of the sockeye salmon, when I call it a nutrition bottle, I'm not kidding. Usually I eat four to five eggs, but it just so happens I happen to have six left, so I said, oh, what the hell, I'll eat six eggs. I've eaten six eggs many times before. This may be the only meal for today. We'll have to see how I feel three or four hours later. Sometimes if I eat a really nutrient-dense meal, it's my first meal, around 11 or 12 o'clock, uh, I usually eat skip the next one and turn that into an OMAD, one meal a day type of day. Little Redmond's real salt. And now, you know the drill. Jesus, I thought you'd never finish. I rinsed off the salmon and uh, blotted it nice and dry. Put a little Redmond salt on it. Got to be careful with that stuff. It, uh, you don't need too much of it. I'm going to start by cooking the salmon in the butter, skin down. And the goal here is to really not fully cook the salmon, but cook the skin enough to where I can flip it over and peel it off. You don't want to get the salmon too well done because you're going to mix it in with the eggs later and it's going to cook then as well. So. At this stage, I want to cook it enough to get the skin off and heat it up enough to where the center is still kind of raw, but uh, at least the outside edges are done a little bit and I can uh, shred it up. 
So this is a real easy way to take the skin off by heating it up first. And if it gets a little warm when you grab onto it, just use a paper towel. So there's the salmon with the skin all removed. Cook it a little on the other side. And now I just chop it all up. It falls apart nicely. But you'll see as we get to the thicker part of the salmon that the inside is still a little on the raw side. So you cook it all up like this. And you put it on a plate temporarily. So we can cook the, uh, start cooking the omelet. If you don't get every last little bit of salmon out of the pan, it doesn't matter because you're going to just put it right back in on the eggs anyway. Now we add six eggs to this pan. You don't need any more butter because there's still plenty of butter there from where you seared off the salmon. Now this is going to end up pretty thick, so before you put the salmon back in, you want to make sure that uh, you let it firm up down on the bottom, but not so much as to uh, overcook it. Okay, we'll take the salmon and uh, try to spread it as evenly as we can around the omelet. And I'll just use the fork to slide it all around and get it out towards the edges. Push it down into the egg, which at this point is still liquid. Now this thing is going to be way too heavy to try to flip, especially is that you're going to be flipping it when there's still some liquid egg on the top. So what I do is uh, I use the, the end of a uh, plastic spatula so as not to hurt the uh, frying pan coating and I divide it up into quarters just like that. And you can flip the quarters individually without flipping it all over the stovetop and yourself. And by now it, it's going to start to be firming up on the top and it's about time you want to flip it so just flip each piece like like a piece of pie and once you flip it over I'd say within 30 seconds, it'll be done cooking. In fact, I usually turn off the heat right about the time I get done flipping it over. And that's pretty much it. Now we just plate it.
That's a lot of food. If this was a normal meal for somebody who eats three meals a day, half of that would be more than adequate. But we tend to eat more food fewer times a day. Beautiful. And the obligatory taste test. And the verdict. Right. And there I am with what looks like five pounds of food. I won't make you watch me eat the whole thing, but we'll come back if I can make it all the way through this. Well, we're almost about finished this thing. And this omelet was made with six eggs and about three quarters of a pound of wild caught salmon. A real nutrition bomb and it was delicious. Clean plate club. Here it goes. Mm. I may or may not eat more food today. We will see in three or four hours. And with that, take the rest of the day off. Eat meat or an omelet with fish. <laughs>